I'm Rob Horton with SayAnythingBlog.com. Uh, the cost of higher education is is a perennial issue, and I and I think it's becoming more of an issue now as as we see some of the student student loan debt issues become more and more acute as we see uh, delinquency rates uh, grow in that area. Uh, here in North Dakota, tuition has grown, un unfortunately, on, on a rate not unlike the, the national level. And before the legislature this session, uh, there's a bill, it's HB 1328, introduced by Representative Kylie Overson, uh, which would apply a two-year tuition freeze on the North Dakota University system. And I have with me Representative Overson to talk about that. First of all, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, t tell us what exactly your bill uh, does. Yes, and thanks for having me. Um, the bill as it sits right now um, relates to the authority of the state board to set the rate of tuition for our public colleges and universities. So what it says is that they can establish that rate as long as it is not, it does not increase from the rate as it sat in the spring of 2013. Um, so in effect, freezing the tuition rate for the next biennium. Um, if you look at the bill right now, there is not included an appropriation because with the new funding models and with the unclarity in how the higher ed budget will come out, we haven't been able to estimate what that amount would be to make up for lost revenue. It is our intention to increase the appropriation to higher ed should the tuition freeze go through. I mean, I know that's where a lot of the contention has come in so far is if we actually need that additional appropriation, but that's the bill as it sits right now. I, I wanted I wanted to ask you about the appropriation because I think I think a lot mm -hmm. of observers of higher ed in North Dakota, um, myself included, look at some of yep. the money we're we're spending. I mean, I'm I'm looking at right now at a chart of of a, you know total appropriations to the university system, with with Governor Dalrymple's uh, executive budget recommendation for the next biennium, we're looking at a 150 percent increase since 2003. Uh, but but tuition isn't going down, which I, I think a lot of us when we think of our state universities, we think the you know the reason why the taxpayers created these things, the reason why the taxpayers fund these institutions is to provide a, a lower cost education for the state students. But yet, even as right. we're increasing, you know, uh, uh, state appropriations, we're seeing tuition go up as well. So uh, w w where's mm -hmm. this money going? I mean, I mean, because uh, the cost for students is going up, the cost for taxpayers is going up. Uh, but I, it, I guess it's hard for a lot of people to understand where's all this additional money going? Right, and, that, and that's a great question. I mean, we need to be very careful in the appropriations that we're making, especially when there's such large appropriations. Um, you know, I think often the tuition increase has been related to the 3% increase for faculty and staff salaries. That's often what we tie out those numbers to. Um, and of course, that's not all of the increase, though. A lot of it has been infrastructure needs at a lot of our schools who have buildings that have been really outdated, um, so they're building up appropriations to be able to meet those needs. Now, beyond that, I mean, it's the higher ed budget is complicated, and I think there is probably definitely areas that we can reduce spending or at least hold spending even and be more efficient in our use. And I know the, the chancellor, um, previous chancellor had introduced the maximizing efficiencies plan, and I, we haven't really seen the outcome of that yet, and if there's had any effect on finances at the universities and if we are being more efficient with our dollars. So, I mean, it is. It's a great question and I think something that our universities need to start answering and why we have such an increase in spending. Let me let me ask you a question, too. Chancellor Shervani um, testified in opposition to your bill. Uh, he said, yeah. and, and I'm, I'm quoting from the uh, Fargo Forum report, he says your bill erodes constitutional authority and takes away necessary flexibility to ensure we meet the needs of our students in the state for future generations. So, so essentially, he, he's questioning the legal authority of the university to, to cap, or excuse me, the legal authority of the legislature to cap uh, tuition. What, what's your response to that? Um, well, I guess the response is it is something we've done before. We've ha we have both frozen at two years and capped at, at or excuse me, yeah, frozen at two years and capped at the four years for the last four years. So, I mean, if that's the question, it should have been challenged in the past. And I agree that the state board does need to have their authority. But what we saw in 2011, um, legislatively, they did not put a freeze or a cap in. They did allow the state board to maintain that authority. And then NDSU did come forward and ask for an increase in tuition, and they they believed that they had a good reason to do it. They had some students behind that decision. Um, so we, but we saw that the state board agreed to something, and then after the session, didn't hold to that decision. That upset a lot of people. Um, so really, 
taking legislative action is keeping an oversight of that and making sure that the tuition freeze does stay in place and that we can guarantee it. Do, do you feel like, I mean, I mean, are there other areas? I mean, why, why do you think tuition is growing so quickly at our universities? You know what? I mean, it's a tough question. Again, with I think the we did have a freeze at the two-year institutions for the past four years. And the response that I've seen to that is because they saw that all of our two-year schools in the region were a lot higher cost than, um, than our regional competitors. But it was the opposite of the four-year schools in North Dakota. Our costs have continued to be lower than our regional competitors. So they thought that we could minimally increase at four years and freeze at two years. Um, so I'm not, I don't get the mentality of if our costs are lower that we need to increase it. I think if our costs are lower in North Dakota, that's something we should be proud of and we should keep it that way. We don't need to meet costs, I think, that keeps us competitive to maintain low costs. So. I don't know why the tuition has continued to go up so dramatically over the past 10 years. I've been proud of our efforts to maintain it for the past four years, and I hope that we can continue it this year. If, if you're, uh, and, and again, your bill, and, and our, I know initially it had a $25 million appropriation to, to offset uh, the, the tuition costs. If, if that were to be stripped out of the bill, would that still be something you could support, the tuition freeze um, well, on its own? We we don't actually know what the amount is. That, that a um, number came from 2011. That was the approximate estimate had the freeze went through. I think it would have actually been lower than that. Um, so that was just number I had thrown out, and it's getting – everyone is assuming that that is the number now, and that's not the case. We don't have an appropriation yet. We don't know what the number will be until the funding model is approved. Um, but either way, to get to your question, that's, I mean, that's, that is it's difficult for me to answer because I don't want to be harming the universities in any way with the budget. So that wasn't our intention. I think it, if we did, I mean, it would surely send them a message that we are holding them accountable for the cost if we don't give them an additional appropriation. Um, and it would really force them to look at where they're spending and maybe be a little more efficient. Um, but I'm, I'm supportive of higher education, and I don't think that they've been doing any wrong. So I don't, I don't want to come out on the wrong side of this, that we're, we're trying to harm the universities if that is what that would end up doing. Representative Overson, thank you for your time. Yes, thank you. I appreciate it.